Hey Zuko, hey Twix, hey viewers. Uh, you giving all the loves? Look at you. Uh, you're making all the biscuits, huh? All oh, the biscuits. Hey there, tw Twix. You come the other human. Hey, babies. So, are currently being, are being nice. Yeah, if you guys haven't noticed yet, look at the green bar down there. I just See. looked at, I'm just seeing it for the first time. I was Penny. <laughs> Thunder Paul. <gasps> could you hear, I don't know, could you hear her? I could. Oh, them? Yeah. You forget to take your food bowl out. No, I didn't. I was letting them snack. Uh, we get mm. clean. Oh, I meant to grab it before. I meant that I didn't grab it when I came in. I don't think there's any molecules of food left on it. Hey, beep, beep. Of course, if you're watching this sometime in the future, they may not, they may already been adopted. Only can hope. Who's going to go to be the king of your castle? It's, hmm? it's entirely possible that they could be adopted this coming weekend. If somebody submits an application and says that they want it. Hey, Tracy. Hey, ghosties. Will I also forget? I mean, look right there. I brought it in with me and I sat it outside the door before I came in so I wouldn't forget. After I went through some cabinets looking for something else and saw the scale. Mm. We can go ahead and get that on. Did you look at the ele the the outlet, the electrical cabinet or? I did. Okay. Oh, I was fighting trying to get Microsoft OneDrive working on that mini puck. So, because I've been saving all the files to that so I can sync the computers. This might be our last way in, boys. Make it count. Okay. One like two pounds each. Yep. Maybe three. One week ago. Oh, I said Twix weighed 11. <laughs> well, it's okay. Round up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, last Hi, week, Twix weighed 10.36 pounds. 10.56. Yeah. I've, been, I've been sneaking them extra food, too. Look how cute he is. He's like, oh, now i got to scratch after my weigh-in. That's two-tenths of a pound. Yay. Okay, Zuko, your turn. You weighed 11.18 last week. Oh, he's drinking. Mm -hmm. Eleven point two nine. Nice. They're focused on one thing and one thing only right now. So two and a half pounds since they got here, maybe ish, give or take. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks. We're officially three months. Well, for sure. Three months isn't exactly 12 weeks. Well, they came in on March 24th. So, so June 24th would be three months. Yeah. Well, how come 12 weeks is not? Because Whitmuck is not. 
even number or equal number of weeks every month. Okay. If someone says twelve weeks, they're gonna say three months, aren't mm -hmm. they? They say yeah, that'd be wrong. In this case is thirteen weeks. Ish. I'm glad I'm not on camera. You guys can't see me rolling my eyes. Yeah, I, I do that all the time. You, you rolling your eyes at me? No, that kind of math. <laughs> what kind of math is that, dear? That kind. You could say, if it was, if you say 90 days, people say three months. It's like February can be like four weeks, like 28 days. But some days, some months have 31. And some months, it's some months have five weeks, some months have four weeks. Thank you, dear. I have only been around the, the sun once. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, three months. We must pandemic. Fifteen weeks, wow. But only three point five months. Where did it go, Steve? Okay, so I have this um ask John to role play with me tonight. Alley have you do you guys know what alley ship is? I just learned about it today. And I guess maybe it's more of a corporate thing. Do you know what an alley ship is? Are we the definition? This is related to BLM and are probably preaching to the choir here, but if we get one person to think about it. Well, but I learned from, I learned from this today. Like I didn't know what allyship was. Someone had to explain it to me. And I, I'm not in the corporate world anymore, so I don't know. Where is this? I gotta find the definition. Okay. You want to read the definition? Allyship is the continuing process in which someone with privilege and power seeks to first learn about the experiences of a marginalized group of people and then ultimately empathizes with their challenges and build relationships with that group of people. It's Ally, A-L-L-Y, ship. So... Ally Ship. So anyway, the my good friend, her her company, her new company as of last week, is really focusing in on um, having conversations about uh, BLM and um, and racial disparity, etc. So she they have this great PDF about reframe, reframing the conversation regarding uh, looting. Guys, I guess I guess proper better way to pronounce is Ally. Is you're trying to be an ally to someone. Okay. So ally. I guess I just, yeah. yeah. I just feel ally. Same way. Really? Okay, allyship. Look at, look at him. Look at Twix. He's like, I'm aligning with you, ally, ally. Okay, do you want to um, role play? Sure. Okay, so this is about like having a conversation. Let's say with a conservative. Do you want me, me to be? Too. You. What do you want to be? Yeah. You want? Okay. John's gonna be the, them, the conservative, and I'm going to be the liberal. Go ahead, dear. Wow. Have you seen the news? Yeah. Isn't it incredible how the country is coming together to demand justice and accountability? That's great, and I, and I totally get why they're protesting, but not all cops are bad. True, but neither are all black people. Yet cops more often than not treat them that way, which is why they're protesting. I just wish they didn't resort to violence. I wish that the police would be peaceful and wouldn't resort to violence against unarmed black people. I mean, yeah, maybe, but uh, really? The looting is out of control. Yeah. But looters are the minority. 
I wish the media would focus on, on all of the peaceful protesters. There, ha there was one last week in our, oh, um, okay. Loafland with over 15,000 people that remained peaceful. I'm glad that a lot, of, a lot of it has been peaceful, but it's still terrible to see the businesses being negatively impacted by the looting. They're already hurting from COVID-19 shutdowns. Yes, it really is awful. But we should also lament the systematic looting of black wealth throughout American history, from slavery through the Black Wall Street Massacre, redlining, redlining the financial crisis, which has made intergenerational wealth a pipe dream for black community. And now COVID, which is um, has disproportionately impacted color people of color. Yeah, it's just a lot to process and it's overwhelming. 2020 has been a really crappy year. Absolutely. But remember that a lot of this is not new. There is 400 years of history and traumatic in trauma. trauma inflicted on the black community. What's new are cameras, phones, and social media documenting and raising awareness of these, in, these issues. That was a good conversation. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts? Can you hand me the um, one? <laughs> Did you see Zuko? He's like, what? Twix and Twix. I had lunch with these two and they were jumping jelly beans. They were jumping literally like four to five feet in the air. Kitty K says, well, good stuff. Thank you. The yeah, thing about a lot of people say white privilege doesn't exist until they start to open their eyes and start seeing how other people are effective, affected um, in the same situation that they themselves has been. It's like um, when I was on jury duty, I was in line with a bunch of women um yeah, i was pretty much only white man there it was women men of color women of color hispanics um and there was a the guard there was white and he was they looked to be a little bit older than i and i could not get the guy to make eye contact with me he looked at everybody but me i had to ask him a direct question for him to even look at me And it's like when I get pulled over by a cop, the left, I never have to think about keeping my hands in sight. I never have to think about that. There was a there's a video floating around about a, with a black kid playing basketball out in the driveway. And I guess a, a cop car drove by, and he and he lives in an affluent community in, in Connecticut. And his dad had a Nest Cam outside, and so he was playing basketball for like 10, 15 minutes. A cop rope drove by, and he quickly hid behind his car. And as soon as the cop was gone, he went back to playing. And his dad asked him about it, and he said, well, cops killed Floyd. You know, Floyd, why wouldn't they kill me? He's like a 12 year old. You know, other, I've also experienced male privilege. Um, it's like, I, you know, about 10 years ago, I, I became self aware of my impact on other people around me, namely, if a if I happen, if a chance of fate put me walking behind a woman, um, is you know I was lost in my own thoughts in this one time, um, not even paying attention to her, and all of a sudden she just suddenly just made a hard right cross the street and then continue walking, and it just struck me as odd because there was no reason for her to do that, and then I realized I was the reason she did that, and. There's been times I left the skating rink and just pure chance I happened to be walking out 
right when a woman walked right in front of me and through the door. And other times, you know, it's like she would suddenly turn to the side and look like she's studying a sign to let me pass. And, it's, you know, things like that. So it's kind of a shame that I have to do this, but it's, it's how it is. It's, um, I have to back off if I'm like, make sure I'm not walking um, directly behind a woman. I walk to the side now. I, you know, I increase the gap. Uh, things like that. And it's, and that is similar to what white privilege is like. You know, you'd never notice it. Uh, you know, that's what women face with that is what blacks face with uh, racism. Hopefully that, putting into that context can make people make a link for it. I don't think we'll ever know, to be honest, with, you, with what they're living through. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just never know. We can't know. But we can try to empathize. Yeah, we can learn and, and listen. Like, I think Trevor Noah's um, piece last night about the land of death, and then also Don Lenham, Lenham did the same thing. And I think that, for me, like, listening to them and, and understanding and seeing different points of view. You think trans women, you know, that previously born man, but gender identified as a woman and made the switch. And it's like all of a sudden they start seeing the same uh, impacts. And, yeah. Oh, that's, that is horrible, ghosties. Tracy's sharing. In a, um, she said that she has yeah. a colleague. Who is a trans mixed race man? He has been stopped driving home on multiple occasions because he lives in a fluent white community. That means a white community, and they're not white. That's terrible. In a place that you feel you live and pay your taxes, that you don't feel safe. Uh oh. What's that? He was started chewing on it. My friend Kayla and I have been, not this weekend, but last, last weekend and this upcoming weekend for our Saturday night movies, we've tried to pick more African American movies. Excited about this one this weekend. And a friend of mine was just do, doing a book club. Um, uh, let's see if, I, if you guys have read it before. And Kayla and I are talking about maybe in July doing a book club for this book. Let me see where it is though. I don't remember the name. Small Great Things is the name of the book. My friend it's in D.C. that just read it, said it was really hard to get through. By Jody P-I-C-O-U-L-T. Hey, handsome. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's like, I've been accosted. <laughs> well, guys, cross your fingers that this weekend they'll be going home. Hopefully. Maybe the uh, Homer Pets already got an adoption app for these guys. That would be nice. I know before COVID-19, it's been kind of difficult the past year and a half to two years trying to get my fosters adopted. It kind of saturated the market in this area.
Yeah, so she's uh, she's got a couple of books that have been on um, the New York Times bestselling list. Hey, Zooks. We did update the boys' pictures. I did update them. Word got the Google Doc to put in the information for uh, adopting them because I noticed that when it was being shared, it was just sharing the doc and not the text I put with it. You look fabulous. I thought your post was really well done. How long will our honeymoon be? be? <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, honeymoon is uh, two seconds long on our to do list. <laughs> um, but no, she's meaning between the fosters. Oh, look how cute you are. Who knows? We now foster, uh, shelter or foster for two shelters. So I guess whoever is available first. They look extra large in these pants. Like they're, they are, it's the angle and they're very baggy. Yeah. I think we were going to try to. Do perfect pals next. Yeah. If there's availability. Ideally, I like to do back and forth between the two. Yeah, one thing people may not realize is that I, um, the Critter Room and Perfect Pals are separate entities. Um, we are partnership. And now Homer Pets in that partnership. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. These are fantastic kitties. I don't know, have you, John? What? Ghost is asking if you've let. Um, I need to. It really all just depends on when these guys go home. Tonight, one of the adoption counselors even mentioned on the, my post of resharing it that these guys will go pretty fast. Homer Pet has a fast adoption rate or high adoption rate. So that's good. Yeah, pink does suit him quite well. It's a pink purple. It looks fabulous. It's such a, thank you, Lizzie. It's such an awesome, they love it, the ball. And it looks really good on Zuko, too. What time is that? Lean forward. Keeps going in here and sleeping and nobody can see him. Yeah, maybe he likes it that way. Did you see what Laurel posted on the, my, the movie? The cat. <laughs> Laurel's who gave me the, the second stroller. So we now have stroller one, two, and three. And John wants to get a fourth. No, I never said that. You implied. Yes, beep, beep, we got a third today. I'm going to try to see what Dorian thinks of the stroller. I know, um, Trillian is is going to be a no go right from the beginning. Uh, all three girls are a no go. Yeah. I mean, that's not even Nakia, B, and Trillian are just a hard no. Thank you. He totally okay, Lizzie. He totally wants us the fourth one. He was I like at Dorian dinner. Was he was of... like, "Well, what about Dorian? He might like it." And I was like, "Well, you got to get a fourth if you're gonna want Dorian to do it." Say it. You just admitted no, what she said. No, but you were like, and you were There's like, some chances of all four wanting to go at the same time is like if for the wedding. If you want Dorian out there in the wedding, and we play a lot of like in and out. It's only three of us. <laughs> yeah, but we're totally outnumbered by the cats. 
Well, we pushed them the out. Yeah, we pushed them out to the yard, and that's about it. <laughs> Penny does not like the driveway. And I, I've, I'm adding the different scenes that we switched to during the wedding. I'm adding a please stand by in case things go <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that's good. And how do you think Trilly would, would go in a stroller, dear? I think she would go in about never. <laughs> we can try it in the house. I mean, she probably would think of it as roughly the same as a carrier. And I know Nakia will oh. cut you. <laughs> she, she missed her last appointment because she wouldn't go in the carrier. So, B, the, so you know, we let the kids out in the garage at night. and She <laughs> lets the kids out in the garage. I don't. And uh, anyway, B has jumped in the strollers and checked them out. But getting her outside the house, I don't think so. We can certainly try. We can do an experiment, dear, if you'd like. But Penny was upset today because John dropped a whole bunch of black plastic things right close to her and she was jumping to get out yeah, and hit working. <laughs> so she does not like the driveway but once you bring her on the grass she thinks life is the best and then she doesn't you bring her in she doesn't get get out of the actually the three of them you bring them in and they don't want to get out of the stroller they just sit there since twix won't move me move the cam <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How many scratches are you? <laughs> right before the wedding? Not many. <laughs> Maybe it's an after the wedding. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to be going out there with a red and white and bloody sweater. That well, I got good. streamers. I we could do so. The suggestion is is that we could do bow ties and bows on uh, the kitty um, strollers. So I did get streamers because I was at the dollar store and I they were a dollar each. I thought about getting some bows, but I didn't. But we could. Dorian does like to wear an outfit, so if we can get we find a tuxedo outfit for him, he could go out as a groomsman. Yes. This is the most comfortable I've been since sitting cross-legged in probably two years. What do you think that's from now? I don't know. It's my, my left hip is not wanting to let, to rotate outwards. It would pop. and Like when we were doing uh, renovations, if I turned around too fast with my feet not moving, just turn the torso, it's like a couple of times it was like a really loud pop. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is allowing you to do it now? Just trying to push it. Mm -hmm. Extend the range. I think I had some sort of calcium buildup. Oh yeah, I've had that before. It's like um, when I after when I broke my arm, I could not straighten it past this point because they said calcium buildup in the joint because it was like sitting like this for so long. But eventually there was like a crunch sound and yeah. now I got full range. Yeah, yeah, it could be. We're doing a little bit more walking, not as much walking as I would like. And I'm to blame for that. No one else. So Dorian and his outfit, wait till you see what he had on today. <laughs> so one of my longtime clients that I know no longer serve is a big setter, And so she saw that Dorian needed outfits. So she has now made him something. And so this was his test outfit today. Get closer. Hey. Down a little bit. <laughs> That's good. Okay, and then let me see if I can give you show you another one. So this one we're returning because we got to make some changes. And then on Wednesday uh, this week she's gonna bring a new one. He looks very. My mom said he looked like a pig. <laughs> I think he looks slimming. He's extremely. 
Okay, here you Flabble, go. Flabble, flabby. <laughs> Back up a little bit. There you go. <laughs> we're we're going to cut the, we asked for not, the sleeves not to be as long. You don't do them anymore? Oh, uh, I don't know. Do you have any more that you want me to show? Nope. Let's see. Well, let's see. Oh, and so the holes in the legs aren't, we got to fix that in the back legs. Oops. Doesn't he look great? What are you doing, dear? I, I hit the wrong button. Oh, it's not focused now. Twix, Luco, can you focus? Yeah, very pajamas. Isn't that so funny? He loves it. It's still stuck on your phone. There we go. Cat paws, not just for kitties. He totally loves to play dress up, but he didn't like the Superman one. Um, I do have one for um, Pride, Pride Month. So we haven't put that one on yet. Yeah, there's really none of my cats that would have done that. What he put in, in the outfit that, that he was in. So we, yeah, we out. We asked for uh, the front legs to be shorter and the back legs holes to be more oval. Oh, and John felt like he was a little too tight in the belly area. No, but you said that he's probably fine, and I agreed. Well, no, I told her to let it out an inch. Dorian does have a cape for his Superman. Have I not? Um, okay, here we go. We're going to show it. He keeps taking out his leg on the Superman. You have to wait. I don't have the broadcast for it. This Superman outfit. Thank you, bet. He got his pajamas custom made, the dog pajamas. That's awesome. Dorian's belly though is so much better. I mean, it was it was horrifically bad. I guess like, uh, you know a big giant hot spot like a dog would get, and now it's all almost all healed up. It's shrinking it's, in size finally. It was either the pajamas or a comb. And meh, pajamas it is. Yeah, and we're probably going to continue wearing it because um, we don't want him to come back up. So at least, she said two to four weeks. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? We just, whenever we change it out, we just need to give him a good scritch. We could probably give him a few, a, you know, a break here and there. Our kitties might be a little bit spoiled. What do you think? Strollers and, and like if, if the kids were our cats, they would be very privileged and spoiled and probably never want to leave the house. It blurred right when you said that. Uh, so they may, might not have seen me roll my eyes. <laughs> oh, you are a you are just as enabling as I am, dear. What is he? What is he doing? He's chewing the cardboard. Well, that's I'll new. Assume. Oh, beats stealing the tortillas. Oh, that's so sweet, Mary Jane, your dog. After surgery, she had to wear human sweatpants. And, and the doggy loved it. 
It's so funny how their person, all everyone's personalities is. Everyone's what I mean, cats and dogs. Oh, when I was tapping up the post for posting on the critter room, um, I had, I changed the description for Zuko several times. It's like the second one that I had was Zuko is like, I had Twix is like a big squishy plushie. Well, Zuko is like a buying a new shirt that sometimes still has that those pins in it. It's like, ow! <laughs> Unexpected poke. You know, Zuko gets a bad rap. I'm sorry, but he is very, very sweet. You don't see him outside the room, but when we're out and about and he's out and about, he's like lewd. Yeah, I was leaning against the counter um, checking something on my phone. He was rubbing up against my legs, and then he hopped up on the counter, and then he was rubbing up against my back, just back and forth, back and forth. And he does all the work for you. You don't got to do anything. Just stand there. But he really is the sweetest guy. Like, when I come in the door, he's first to greet me. He'll sit downstairs try, at the door crying. He just wants to be around people. But he doesn't want to be picked up or really touched and handled. Yeah, it's like if I carry him, I have to carry him with his legs hanging. Which is also the same way I have to carry B. And Ruthie. And Nakia. And Ruthie. And Trillian. <laughs> Come on, get into the day. Just like Chris wanted to hear him. Yep. He didn't turn on his tractor, so I think it's open up its own door. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, last week he totally bit your knee. <laughs> yeah, it was earlier today. He grabbed. He, he didn't want me to leave, so he grabbed a hold of my leg. And, and a little bit of a fuzzy jerk. You so, so she's a lot nicer to her than he is to me. He likes her better. He's a mama's boy. Use your mama's boy. Look at his ears. He's like, oh. Yeah, he's totally like jelly jelly bean. What do you think, guys? I think they're bored with us. Yeah, I probably should try to go to bed early tonight, too. I've got a lot going on. I have a busy day tomorrow, but it's my last busy day of the week. Until next Monday. And then we start to get really busy as of next. This upcoming Sunday. Is that tomorrow? Or like four days ago? No, no. We're doing like 10 or 12 appointments a day next week. Oh, you're talking about your job. Yeah. That's because like, it's like eh, the Wednesday before the wedding. That's when five metric yards of rocks get dumped on the driveway. And I conveniently can't help anymore. <laughs> I can supervise. Spread out over there. No, I'll wear my brace and try to do the best I can. It's like she was in a, in a world of pain after digging in the yard for several hours, pulling up bushes, getting rid of roots. My carpal tunnel did not appreciate it. The rainbow rocks are good. They look beautiful where they are, but I haven't gotten any more because it was rainy and yucky. And, um, and right now we don't really have, we have to wait for the gravel rocks or drain rocks to come in before we can place anywhere. <laughs> Very conveniently, <laughs> but nice to see nobody. Yeah, today was much better. I mean, my right arm was still bothering me, but I was able to actually work all day long. I worked over 10 hours today. Yeah, she needs to sleep with the braces on, too. Yeah, well, and then have good braces. Like, the, the other one we I had gotten a couple weeks ago was, was not working. But these new ones are? Yeah, well, yeah, last night I woke up. I had no pain at all this morning. That was really nice. It's the first time in a week or so.
Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Wicking me. All right, we look forward to seeing you, Lizzie, next Wednesday. You have plenty of time to get here. Help with the rock. So we've um, for the wedding day, we have um, Danielle's husband is going to be our wedding day co coordinator. So he'll be running all of the camera work. And I've decided to use one of the Intel Nooks um, as a broadcaster. I'm going to try, try it. If we can handle both brios, we should be having a very good picture. The same picture that you see here. Same quality. Oh, you found a sock with, oh, I never thought about that, Mary Jane. Thank you for that suggestion. She said find a sock with a thumb hole and put it um, under the brace and wrap it around outside. I could have used that with the old brace. These ones that I got yesterday are all like a microfiber-ish. They were very, very comfortable. I wore them almost all day yesterday. And they have like four, three or four straps yeah. all, all along. So but they don't have just the different points. Yeah, they don't have that like one metal that usually pokes at you either. So, oh, okay. Excuse you. Let me put the cam on you. Twix is, has just dismissed us. Yep, he's done. He's like, I want to see me too. This is where he sleeps, I'm pretty sure, at night. If you can't find him on cam, I'm pretty sure this is where he is. He's Ooh. watching himself. What? Mary Jane would have scratches on her face. Yeah, it's not fun, the way of Velcro. Look at him. He was just hopped up there and was like, see you guys later. Bye bye. Did you put the wand away? Yes. Oh, you guys are so stinking cute. You're going to have so many things to go home with. You're going to need like another car full. Well, thank you for chatting about an important subject. I like to learn something new every day. Okay, bye guys. Good night, everybody. Enjoy the kitties. Have a okay. nice day. Still working?